Hi Boss Beauties, welcome back to my channel. I am continuing with my new Lippy Loves series. These are all the lippies that I have purchased over the last few months. There were approximately 40 of them. And these are the ones that, you know, I just had to share with you, my homegirls, fellow Boss Beauties, those who wanna know, you know, what's really the tea on some of the newest products that have launched. Or they may have launched previously and you're just like, hey girl, What's going on with them? Are they good? And that is exactly how I came to try this current lippy that I have on right now. A subscriber, and I will list her name on the screen, like right here. Um, she wanted to know, hey Boss Beauty, hey Girl Boss Beauty, can you let me know what you think about the new Chanel lip glosses? I had never tried any Chanel anything. Any Chanel makeup, skincare, clothing. I have nothing Chanel, if you can believe it. So I said, sure. So I went to my local Macy's and I picked up one shade. Now there are 24 different shades in the Chanel Coco Rouge. Wait, it's the Rouge Coco Gloss, not Coco Rouge. It's the Rouge Coco Gloss. There are 24 different shades. I picked up the shade 754, which is called Opulence. This is what the uh, packaging looks like. It has the iconic Chanel logo right here. And it's just very basic and simple. If you just look at it like this, you may even think it was a Revlon product, right? With this black lid, but no. You turn it here and you see what you got. You got Chanel. So I am wearing it on my lips today with nothing. This is only gloss, if you can believe it. Now, I will tell you what Chanel says about this product. And then I'll tell you how it's very innovative. First off though, let me tell you, Chanel did have a very long time iconic um, lip gloss line that apparently people adored. They totally got rid of that entire line and replaced it with these. So for Chanel to have done that, and like I said, this is my first Chanel lip product, so I don't know what the other line was like, it must have been definitely better. This is a new formula. These are all new shades. There is no uh, do-overs or duplicates from the previous line that they used to carry. I do want to mention that. Out of the 24 shades, they're all different. But if you ask them a question on their website, like, hey, I used to use shade let's say caviar or something, what in the new line is similar to that, they will answer your question and let you know. But there are no duplicates. The new High Shine Glossimer, introducing the non-sticky ultralight formula, enriched with coconut oil, peptides, and vitamin E, along with an exclusive Hydro Boost Complex to offer hours of comfort and moisture. Lips are visibly smooth, plumped, and perfectly brilliant. I will say that this is an outstanding lip gloss. Outstanding lip gloss. Like, this is one of those glosses where it's the everything because it is very pigmented. And I will tell you how I judge how pigmented lip products are. I have different color lips. My top lip is brown. My bottom lip is pink. You can't really tell that with this shade. And again, I have shade 754 in Opulence. I love it. I tried to get a shade that was not like something that I already had. And with only 24 shades to choose from, there were a lot of shades that just kind of looked like normal shades. This is the one, this kind of red, reddy color with slight golden, um, flex on it if you can see definitely a good good shade I love these and let me tell you how they went a step further with these lip glosses not only do they have um <clears throat> three lip glosses I mean 24 different shades but they have three that are called transformative top coats 
Now, there is one shade that is a shimmer flecked gold that brightens. There is a neon orange that warms up and there's a sheer black that deepens. So let's say you wanted opulence and you were fine with this color all the time. And then you were like, you know what? I wish opulence was just a little deeper. You can go and buy the black caviar top coat, put it on this and it ends up coming out almost uh, burgundy like it comes so so deep the top shades really are transformative so I picked mine up my lip gloss up in Macy's it needs retail for $30 the top coats also retail for $30 now what you need to know about the wand it I've never used a wand like this ever it is fat honey if you don't, it, I think this is like going to be a problem if you don't have like a top lip. And I'm not trying to be funny. I'm just saying because the wand is a fatty, honey. It's a fatty. So this is the wand here. Now this is the wand curved like this. So now I'm going to turn it to the side. And you can kind of see how it goes out. And this is what it looks like in the back. It is pretty thick and pretty wide. Now, the reason why the wand definitely comes to this curve like this is because it's dual sided. What they want you to do is to use one side. The Once you put it in, the product is going to hinge right here. You're going to go like this. And then you're gonna turn it around and use the back side. The product actually sticks to both sides of the wand and it allows you not to have to double dip. So you only have to swipe one time to get that full coverage that I had on. This is definitely a winner winner chicken dinner. I wish that the transformative top coats retailed for a little cheaper than the gloss itself. Because to say that the gloss is $30 and then if you wanted to transform it, it's another $30. Again, if you're buying Chanel lip gloss though, you're not hurting for the coin. You get what I'm saying? Like, we just got to keep everything in perspective. Um, which is why I probably won't get too many more of these because they are... $30 and they're just basic shades in my opinion but I will do a I will make a special note I absolutely love that on the chanel.com website when you look up these glosses you see them on both light and dark skin so the the model isn't as dark as me she's not as deeply um, pigmented as me but there is a dark skin model trying on the lip gloss as well. And if you're a fair skin beauty, they, that may not mean anything to you and you may not even notice it. But for me, I recognize that it is very, very rare that a dark skin model is chosen to model lip products. Um, and, and to model different shades of lip products. That's not the norm. It's the exception. So I want to give kudos to Chanel for definitely showing what the products look like and on some like our fair skin models and then some dark skin models. I really appreciate that. I think that's a good look and it does make me want to go by and see, you know, kind of what else Chanel has. So I love the lip gloss. Thank you to my subscriber that recommended this. I will be repurchasing probably this shade if I run out, but I, they would have to expand the line for me to be interested in any of the other shades, if that makes any sense. So none on my teeth all righty boss beauties until next time let me know if you have tried this what is your favorite shade or any other high-end products that you would like me to try out as you see i do take your recommendations and i do run with them i'll come back and let you know my thoughts on them so until next time be blessed to be a blessing girl boss beauties bye